As we gather together, we continue our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We gather in faith, we open our hearts and trust to God's great gift and promise of forgiving love as we confess our sin and brokenness. Lord Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you come to save us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you come to redeem us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you come to forgive us. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to a richer and more abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Glory to God, we King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son, was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh. So by your grace, may we be presented to you with minds and hearts made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> He will sit refining and purifying silver, 
and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold and like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the years gone by. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. King of Glory. It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach out your ancient portals, and the King of Glory may come in. Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach out your ancient portals, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. Hallelujah, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according. To the when the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the pair of, and offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law. Now there was in Jerusalem a man whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for, re a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the rise and fall of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, the sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, the tribe of Asher, she was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, 
and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped day and night with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Morning. morning. Well, with three readings of this consorial song, we've got a lot to cogitate on, as did I. So I focused on the reading from Hebrews and three words that were absolutely spectacular in it. And if you could keep hold of those three words, I think they would serve you well. The first word was the promise. Well, keep in mind, this is God's word. So this is God's promise to you. I'm repeating, that's all I'm doing. It's not my promise, it's God's promise. God sent Jesus to help, not angels, but the descendants of Abraham. That's you. And that's me. We're ultimately the descendants of Abraham. And notice what said. God gave Jesus to help. That's the word that I hope you can keep hold of. So that whenever you think of Jesus, realize he comes to hell. It's all he wants to do. It's the only thing he wants to do is hell. And then the reading went on and told us how he helps most deeply, telling us we have a high priest who is merciful and faithful. Those are the second two words. Merciful and faithful. How does Jesus help you? How does he help me? By extending mercy. By extending mercy. That's the help he gives. But, unlike myself and maybe you, sometimes I'm not always disposed to be merciful. Sometimes you generically can irritate me enough that I decide not today. Maybe tomorrow, not today. But Jesus doesn't do that. His mercy is faithful. It's a faithful mercy. Doesn't matter how many times I, you, we sin, he's faithful. He's faithful in extending that gift because all he wants to do is help you, me, and all humankind. Three powerful words. Help, merciful, faithful. They'll serve you well if you can remember
And let us stand together now as we entrust our prayers to our God. <clears throat> Our gracious God, our hearts rejoice in the gift you give us of your Son, Jesus, the one who is the light of your love to all the nations, we pray. We pray in gratitude that Jesus is God's gift to help and redeem us, we pray. Let us continue to pray in gratitude for the many times our lives have been renewed and healed through the gracious, forgiving love of Jesus, we pray. Lord. Let us pray that we who have been forgiven will be ever more disposed to share its life-giving gift with others, we pray. Lord. Let us remember those participating in our RCIA program for the children of the parish preparing for the sacrament of First Reconciliation and Eucharist. In our high school youth, preparing for the sacrament of Confirmation, we pray. Lord, and let us continue to pray for our government leaders as they continue to work for a solution to the government shutdown that it might be uh, completely over. We pray. Lord, and let us pray for all world leaders that they will work together for the common good of all, we pray. Lord. We've been asked to pray and remember this morning Antonia Sergio, in gratitude for God, God's promise of life in its fullness spoken to her, we pray. Lord. And for the intentions we hold in our hearts, We pray. Lord, our, our gracious and our redeeming God, our hearts rejoice in the wonder of your gift and promise that you have sent the only Son to help us. You have sent him to help through extending the gift of mercy with ever greater faithfulness. Continue to open our hearts to all that you would give through Christ, our Lord. Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. May the offering made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, gracious God, we pray, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, gracious God, most holy, almighty, and eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation with the angels and saints. And we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O gracious God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, while he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, our gracious God, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, gracious God, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gerald our Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and thought by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, gracious God, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with one another a sign of the Lord's love and peace.
Let us stand together in prayer. <clears throat> By these holy gifts which we have received, gracious God, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. come upon us all and abide forever. Amen. Let us continue our journey in the peace and love of Christ Jesus. Amen. Say, Michael, we are the angel. We are the angel. We are the angel.